Our study was an investigation of behaviour during tacking up and mounting in ridden sports and leisure horses. This was a collaborative study between Julia Kidd, Catherine McConnell and Tate Preston of the University of Nottingham, Jenny Routh and Dee Pollard, former employees of the Animal Health Trust, Anne Bondi and myself, Sue Dyson. There has been no large scale evidence-based observational study on horses' behaviour when tacked up or mounted. Owners often report grumpy behaviour when their horse is tacked up, but say that this behaviour is normal for their horse, assuming that it is a normal equine characteristic. However, I have previously observed a relationship between abnormal behaviour and the presence of musculoskeletal pain. We therefore felt that it was important to identify normal versus abnormal behaviour during tacking up and mounting. We developed a purpose designed protocol for documenting behaviour during tacking up and mounting. This underwent pilot testing and appropriate adjustments. The behaviour of 193 amateur and professionally owned horses was observed during acquisition of answers to a questionnaire concerning aspects of tack fit and behaviour. We then recorded behaviour data during bridling, placement of the saddle, girthing and mounting. The median sum of abnormal behaviours, such as an intense stare, the ears back, swishing the tail, opening the mouth and tossing the head, was 10 out of a potential 64, with a range of between 0 and 33. The duration of abnormal behaviours related to the total tacking up time was between 25 and 75% of the time in 51% of the 193 horses. During mounting, the median sum of abnormal behaviours was one out of a possible 30, with a range of between zero and 12. So what's the clinical relevance of this? Such behaviours may be exhibited in anticipation of musculoskeletal pain during ridden exercise, which may be associated with ill-fitting tack in some horses. Owners need to be aware that these behaviours are not normal and may be a manifestation of underlying problems and that they should therefore seek professional advice. Read the paper to learn more about what abnormal behaviours were observed and the reasons why they may have been displayed. I would particularly like to thank World Horse Welfare, who provided an undergraduate bursary for Tate Preston and funded the statistical analysis.